When I'm looking at an urban setting or any built environment, I see water. I'm Brad Lancaster, author of Rainwater Harvesting for Dry Lands and Beyond, uh, living here in Tucson, Arizona. Unfortunately, like many communities, we are depleting our local resources. And here, our primary resource is water. So one of the ways that happens is our excessive paving of our community. Now, when the rain picks up, water will flow along the curb into storm drains and out of the system. So here we've got all the roofs drain right to the landscape, which is sloped to the storm drain and the street. And then in this concrete drainage, this rifle barrel, the water just shoots right out of the system. Our water is being depleted, our groundwater is being depleted, but yet every time it rains, there is no shortage of water. More rain falls on the surface area of Tucson in a typical year than the entire community consumes of municipal water in a typical year. So it's very easy then to shift to a new paradigm where we shift away from the model where imported water, municipal water, is the only water source for the landscape to one where on-site water, free water, rainwater is the primary water source. When, when I walk through the urban setting or this neighborhood, I don't see just dirt, okay? I see a living soil, I see a living ecology. I see a great team that I can work with. So everything as we're walking along here has edible and medicinal properties. We've got um, a chuparosa, attracts hummingbirds, but it also has cucumber flavored flowers. We have the barrel cactus. So I can eat the flower buds, pickle them, but I can also eat the fruit. This is a soda pot bush, this is the chuparosa. So we are on a daily basis reconnected to a sense of place rooted to our Sonoran Desert ecosystem. So when we started doing this work, um, I realized that we had planted so densely that if I really wanted things to grow to the mature size I wanted, we didn't have enough water. So on a Sunday morning, when no one was watching, we cut the curb. So this is one of the ways that we can capture the street runoff. As it comes along the curb, we can direct it into a street side basin. So that runoff becomes run on, or maybe better said, soak in. Now that we've shifted it and we've cut the curbs to allow the street runoff to go to street side basins. And then those trees not only shade but grow food, provide wildlife habitat. The key is to show those relationships. So people see, oh, I get it. How can I do that? Nobody can refute real life experience. We need to take action that improves life not just for us right now, but improves life for our neighbors, the soil, okay, our waters, our air. And if we can enhance those things, we'll enhance it for everyone, ourselves included, now and for multiple generations. And it's a high aim, and it's, you don't necessarily know how to do it. But if we don't have that aim, we're never going to get close.